thinking of submarines used in naval combat, many people's minds float to how they became popular during World War II. However, they actually date back much farther than that. The first combat submarine was used during the American Revolution and was invented by a man named David Bushnell. Bushnell grew up in Connecticut and graduated from Yale in July of 1775 after studying igniting gunpowder underwater, a feat that many considered impossible at the time. To many scholars' surprise, however, Bushnell was able to prove these skeptics wrong. After graduating, David Bushnell worked with his father to create a craft that could transport and plant the underwater mines that Bushnell invented. The result was what was named the Turtle, which was the world's first combat submarine. Bushnell's work began to be recognized by prominent patriots when Dr. Benjamin Gale invited Benjamin Franklin to meet Bushnell and to see his invention. After this visit, Bushnell began to work with the Continental Forces and eventually was even able to meet George Washington to plan transportation and operation of the Turtle. In a letter Bushnell wrote to Thomas Jefferson in 1787, the external shape of submarine vessel bore some resemblance to two upper tortoise shells of equal size joined together. The place of entrance into the vessel being represented by the opening made by the swell of the shells at the head of the animal. The turtle was the first submersible to use a screw propeller to move underwater and was also the first to have a breathing device. Its weaponry included a torpedo to attach to the hull of target ships. It also utilized the invention of a time bomb to allow the operator of the turtle to depart before the bomb went off. The turtle attempted several attacks during its service. The most well-known attack took place in September of 1776 on the HMS Eagle. Bushnell was supposed to operate the vessel during this attack, but was unable to due to an illness. He was replaced by Sergeant Ezra Lee, who wasn't as well trained. To add to this mission's difficulties, there was only enough oxygen in the vessel to last 30 minutes. The attack ended by the turtle floating away from the ship and the mine exploding downriver, leaving the target unharmed. There were two more attempts by the turtle after this, however, both were less documented. The vessel eventually met its end after being destroyed by British forces during transport during the Battle of Fort Lee. Although the turtle was overall unsuccessful during the revolution, it still played a vital role in the advancement of future naval combat. Even Washington admitted in a letter to Jefferson, I then thought, and still think, that it was an effort of genius. The main issue with Bushnell's vision was that it required one person to carry out too many jobs, including diving officer, navigator, torpedo man, and engineer. Fortunately, future submarine designs fixed this problem, which allowed them to become more successful.